Yeah, this is, my name is Joe Wheeler, I'm a professor uh, at Virginia Tech and lead this project. It's a uh, smart home uh, that really proposes uh, a, a new way of building, especially as we move into the digital age. So the way it is, if you think of, uh, say, building a house with Legos, what we propose is uh, that a home is made up of kitchens and bathrooms and living rooms and bedrooms, all as uh, prefabricated, smart components that come to the site and are assembled fast, yet efficient and smart. This, this house was assembled in three days uh, as a testament to the concept that in the future we factory build houses, we get them uh, that we get the technology integrated and then on-site construction is easy. Not, not any, uh, no big construction companies have approached us yet. Uh, we see this as a prototype. It's a test bit for ideas. And um, our goal is to try to lead the industry into a more innovative direction. Well, we're, the, this pro project is run out of the, the College of Architecture. And uh, we see uh, uh, a big strength, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the best way to teach a student of architecture is to build something for the student to understand, you know, how, how joints, you know, how materials come together, uh, also how to work with other disciplines, you know, that you, you, you must, you know, work with in order to accomplish, you know, a smart home. So. Um, you know, we're, we're primarily education, but we're, uh, we're really a research operation uh, proposing new ideas for you know, housing in the future. Yes, we've, we've done many proofs of concept. Um, one is a, a 2,200 square foot house we built, aka Future of Style, in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, it's sold for market for asking price. It's built um, actually within reason. So we, we know this, this has an application. It, this will work uh, as an alternative to conventional construction, which to me is very inefficient. Now here is the Future House futuristic design concept for the house. Another view of this. What a great design. See here the roof. This is just amazing. Entrance of the future house. All designed. This is all modular, kind of like a Lego set put together. That's what's going to make it very reasonable. It's going to make it very easy to construct. And the fence is a laser cut fence off of like a, a design from North Africa. This is the interior of the eco of the uh, modern house. Beautiful kitchen and pantry. Now, as I said earlier, this is all put together like a Lego set. Different components brought together. Here, the power source, battery powered. So obviously, they're going to have to hook up to electricity. Of the desk, the office space. Living in space, I'm sure. This is kind of like the easy going living room space. And that is the outside right there, the patio right next to McDonald's, but this is right in Times Square, so McDonald's is not going to be in someone's backyard. We're here, so when you're not using the bed, it becomes like a walk-in closet Mira space, because this is all your clothing storage. Um, so, the smart mirror can access it, and you can check the weather and everything like that. And when you're not using the bed at all, you can bring this wall all the way to maximize the space in the living room. So you might not have heard her, but they, she was saying that's a Murphy bed that could be used when needed and then when not needed 
You know, it just goes right back into the wall. Just an incredible bedroom space here. All part of the future. You can see all the cabinetry here. Plenty of space for the homeowner. And I'm sure, in theory, you could add a few more of these units and put them side by side so you go from a one bedroom to a two bedroom with two living rooms and two kitchens and two bathrooms. And then you triple it, and now you have even more space. Here we have the backyard, the patio space. Just great, great, great space here. This is right in the middle of Times Square. That's the beauty of this. It's like this is more for remote housing, modular housing. But what happens is this is about a thousand square feet, but once you start combining units, you're going to run into issues of what the valuation is from different cities. And that's the big issue, tax assessment. Here is the bathroom of Future House. Now the reason why they really call it Future House is because as I mentioned earlier, this is modular construction. Not like your mobile home, but this is modular where you can put a home together where the home is manufactured in factories, different modules, and then just put together on site really quickly. Flat roof makes it really great. Now, if you're in the real estate housing business, you realize how a flat roof is a true, true blessing. When you have a leak, you know where to go. Easy to fix versus having any angular roofs. You can see the shower that's here. The toilet, as it's opening up. Cabinet space. A little bit more of the yard of Future House. Incredible design, incredible thought that went into this. It's just amazing seeing them having all this. Here, a little bit more of the uh, Future House. See all the control panels that are here. A little bit more than in a regular house. So you can tell that there's probably a lot more going on here than in a regular house. Regular house, you have the fuse box like that one in the center, the uh, gas meter, that's it. And this is only a thousand square feet, so this is like one level of a three-story row house. Somebody's 